Hi, I'll be talking about 5G Spectrum today. Uh, Spectrum is a critical resource in a telecom organization and it should be used judiciously. 5G Spectrum is categorically divided into two parts. One is frequency range 1, another is frequency range 2. Depending upon the frequencies, uh, we have 450 MHz up to 7 GHz in frequency range 1. Uh, FR2 ranges from 24 gig up till 52 gig and is also known as a millimeter wave. A frequency range 1 we have further uh, subdivided into two parts. Uh, one we have uh, less than 1 gigahertz which is also known as a lower band. This is primarily used for the coverage from coverage perspective and uh, this will help us to achieve at least a blanket coverage across the network uh, without adding much many more masts as compared to that in uh, 4G network. Uh, here, whatever the bandwidth we can see, it needs to be further divided among all the telecom operators. So effectively, this 30 will reduce down uh, to even 10 or 15 megahertz. Now, to mitigate this uh, issue of uh, less bandwidth in the lower band, there is uh, an option of a mid band where we can go up to 500 megahertz bandwidth. Uh, but uh, there is a trade off between the coverage and capacity here in this case. Further in FR2 or millimeter wave, we have further very high bandwidths available. Uh, but it will be mostly used in the hotspots or uh, in the dense urban or urban areas. Uh, channel bandwidths are quite uh, flexible in case of 5G. We uh, have seen that in 4G, uh, one carrier can range up maximum up till 20 megahertz, whereas in case of 5G, we can see uh, it, can, it can go up to 50, 100 or even 400 megahertz. So it will help us to achieve uh, the very high peak throughput in 5G. Uh, now further, uh, if we see it is an example, uh, let's see how the different frequency range uh, are defined here. If we see FR2, uh, which is a millimeter wave, we can see um, there are different bandwidths available. We can see up to 200 megahertz. And then we have a different subcarrier spacing, which is quite high in case of FR2, uh, 60 kilohertz or 120 kilohertz. And accordingly, we can see that how the number of um, PRBs are defined uh, accordingly. Uh, in case of, uh, let's check an example of FR1 and uh, let's uh, uh, get it changed. It'll take a couple of seconds. So FR1, if we consider uh, 20 megahertz as uh, same as that of uh, LTE, let's take the subcarrier spacing. So we can see uh, the number of PRPs that can be attained in 5G is 106, which is uh, higher than that what is attained in 4G, which shows that 5G is more spectral efficient because of the flexibility that is there in the frame architecture. Um, this is how we can uh, allocate uh, the resources uh, and it should be, spectrum should be, um, you know, picked up judiciously. Thank you very much.